Hello, I'm Graham Robb and one of my jobs is to do some of the PR for Bannatyne's health clubs. I've been a member since the late 90s, a long time. Now in this video, I'm going to be joined by Ollie Cox, who is the head of fitness programming at the Bannatyne Group. The video, by the way, is being recorded at social distance and both of us have been COVID tested, tested negative, before we started the video. Now, the Bantine Group has 71 health clubs and many spas across the UK. The good news is that the English clubs have been given the green light to reopen on the 12th of April and the Scottish clubs from the 26th of April, depending on the regional tier in place. Lots of preparation is going on in the background to prepare members to return. I'm going to be asking Ollie today about two things. How Covid safe will the health clubs be? And something many people might not have considered. The risk of injury when returning to the gym after months away and how safely to resume a fitness regime. Let's have a quick visit to one of the clubs to see the safety procedures that will be in place. Welcome to a different way of using your Bannatine Health Club. Be assured that everything is in place to keep members and staff as safe as possible. Upon entering, you'll be invited to sanitise your hands. If your club has a one-way system in place, please be sure to follow the marked paths. You'll be used to seeing people wearing face masks. They are available to all our staff. We'll be closely monitoring changing rooms to make sure they don't become crowded, so some lockers and showers have been taken out of use. Staff will be on hand to regularly clean down surfaces, but if you can change and shower at home, we recommend that you do so into the pool area, where the chlorine provides excellent virus protection. But we will restrict the number of swimmers to ensure social distancing. We don't envisage the restriction will significantly reduce available usage. For the time being, our spa pools, steam rooms and saunas will remain closed. Here on the gym floor, equipment has been spaced out to at least two metres apart and members are asked to clean the equipment after use using the antibacterial wipes and sprays provided at our cleaning stations. Staff will also be undertaking regular cleaning. In the weights area, there are one metre square rubber floor mats in the majority of clubs, so that makes it easy to keep two tiles apart to follow social distancing rules. In our cafe bar, we will only be accepting contactless payments, including payments using your member's wristband. There's lots of signage reminding everyone to socially distance at all times, giving guidance on how to do so and what our hygiene protocols are. We don't envisage restricting entry to be a significant problem for our members, as our clubs contain large areas and people visit at different times during our opening hours. We're asking everyone to act responsibly so everyone can enjoy using the health club. Thank you for your cooperation. Well, that certainly shows you that Bannatyne Health Clubs have been making a real effort. And Ollie, I know that uh, last year you were able to reopen for a chunk of time before closing again after the Christmas period. How did those measures go down with members? Yeah, very well, actually, Graham. Um, I think we were all very proud at, at what was accomplished um, by getting that COVID uh, secure measures in place. There was a team of very hardworking individuals that managed to to get everything you know in place in time and, and suitable to make sure our members were safe. Um, and I think that that was widely received as, as the case as well, so it was very good. These electronic wristbands, which people use when they're in the health clubs, are, are very useful in helping uh, trace if there's any problems. If someone has got COVID, you can very quickly establish when they were in and, and also the kind of people uh, that were around them at the time because it's all timed, isn't it? Exactly, yeah. So it's a, it's a great system. Um, it's all digital. So no one can enter the, the facilities without actually um, you know, fobbing that band, um, which means that we know who's in and who's out. Um, and therefore, you know, if anyone maybe does um, have that situation occur, then we can very quickly, like you say, uh, track down who else might need to know that that's the case. Um, and everyone can then follow the, the guidance that's been provided by the government. And I know that uh, members uh, did obey the rules and were, were very uh, conscientious about it and um, when, if they weren't on the very rare occasion they were pulled up. But what was the result? Was there uh, any transmission within the clubs? Um, transmission generally in, in our industry, our sector has been very low, um, which I think has been supported by some, some big studies that were mm. done um, mm. by some leading governing bodies. Um, so that's always been great and you're right, the, the members themselves have been the sort of 
heroes, I guess, of, of their compliance, which made it all possible and, and kept that transmission rate really low. Of course, your buildings are very light and airy as well, because you, ha you have got the space yeah, which to is, socially distance. Of course, we've got um, great space. Our facilities generally have a lot of space in them. Um, you know, it, it's why we can do some of the things that we can do and, and actually provide a lot of, albeit, you know, restricted for obvious reasons, we can still provide a lot of great facilities and services um, because of that. Well, look, it's had a long period of time since I've been in one of the health clubs. Christmas has been. I've been a little bit lazy because it's cold weather during this lockdown. Been working from home. A lot of things on the telly. A lot of snacks. I suppose getting back into the health club setting can't just instantly happen, can it? Well, um, it, it can in the sense that you can you come can and walk see us. in, yes. yeah. Um, and I, th I think obviously the point you're making is, you know, should we be diving straight back into maybe really intense exercise because we can and it's available to us? Um, and I would maybe say that that what we are really looking to get people to do is is come and talk to us. We've got a, a hell of a lot of um, qualified fitness professionals that are just ready and waiting to look after everyone. Um, and we really just want to make sure that people are, are beginning that journey or restarting that journey the right way um, to avoid things like unnecessary injuries maybe or or just actually to get on a regime that is more um, conducive to them maintaining that lifestyle. We'll talk about it in detail in a minute but the programme is called Smart Start? Um, Start Smart. Start Smart, that's right. Okay, um, so that's just one of our, our programmes. Uh, we have many programmes that really we're looking to to shine a light on people's health, okay, and, and make sure that they are aware that we take their health very seriously and that's why we have all the facilities and professionals to do so. So rather than just thinking about coming to join Bannertine as, as, a, as a gym per se, that actually it's a, it's a health and fitness facility with people that are qualified to help steer you in the right direction, give you all the right help, support and advice, and all the programmes including Start Smart and some others um, very much do that. Um, so, you know, come on, come and see us and, and we can look after you. Well, let's find out a little bit more about Start Smart now. Welcome to Start Smart. Your journey with us starts here. We will support you for your first 90 days to ensure you are set up for success to achieve your fitness goals. You will complete three appointments. Your first appointment will consist of understanding more about your body composition, heart health, and your body's ability to move along with a personalised programme until you see us again next time. In the second and third appointment, we will revisit the assessments to measure your progress to ensure you're on the right track. Book your appointment today at reception or through your Bannantine app. Ollie, that video explained the programme to get us back, but what about the diagnostics? Look at me, come on, I'm in my late 50s. I've been a member of the health club for a long time, but it has been an extremely relaxed three months. Uh, I'll give you my vital statistics. I'm, this morning I weighed myself 11 stone 9 and I'm 5 foot 6. It must shock you. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I would say, Graeme, is actually you're, you're, you're probably a great example of a lot of our members. Okay, Everything you've said there probably applies to a lot of people watching this video. Um, and actually, it's a great way for us to explain how, if, if you are that person, then we've got everything that, that would absolutely help you um, get back into things um, if, if you were doing it and maybe have stopped or slowed down mm. or to start. I must say it does feel a lot different starting in April after a winter than it does restarting in the summer when during the first lockdown I was out on my bike there was glorious weather. Yeah yeah I think um, a lot of people again will feel the same way as that. I think what, what is interesting is, is we have missed that traditional um, kickstart window where people mm. in January are ready to go and give it their best shot. Um, but I think this is a positive in the sense that, you know, maybe people have, you know, realised that or had an opportunity to do, you know, a different um, 
health regime from January, but without the support of facilities like us. And there's probably a lot of people that maybe have struggled to get off the ground with that, despite there being a lot of good digital um, content available. Um, but with facilities reopening and people maybe looking at it as a, as a proper fresh start with their health and fitness regime, you know, we've got all the tools ready to help them do that. Um, so I think it's a good time of year to um, you know, welcome people back. Well, we have had some uh, questions on Facebook, which I'm going to put to Ollie in a minute. But first, tell us about this machine and what I've got to do to get diagnosed. Because the, you want to know what my starting point is, don't you? I do. Um, it's very important that we do that. Uh, this is uh, an InBody 270 device. You'll find these in all of your, mm. all of our Bannatine facilities. Um, they are, you know, a, a technical piece of equipment. You know, very expensive because they're very accurate. What it's doing is it's, it's basically telling us what you are made up of. Um, and what I mean by that is, for instance, how much of you is, is muscle, good mm. muscle tissue, and how much of you maybe is uh, fat that you have stored. Uh, both things are completely normal for us to have and, and comprise you know, most of people's um, physical form. Um, but this is gonna drill down into it. And, and why that's important for us to know at this point is because some people maybe feel like they are overweight or they want to lose weight. Um, before we would you know, get into that specific goal, we would wanna find out actually you know, how much of you mm -hmm. is muscle because we've got you know, other tissue that supports a journey of, of weight loss um, that is equally as important as just stripping away um, things such as fat. Mm -hmm. So this machine does that for us. I've gotta say before I get on it, um, being an older man, um, probably older than I'd like to think, I went to one of these regular medical checkups that was organised through my uh, uh, private health provider recently, and there was a machine very like this. So, mm -hmm. you know, Bannatine, it's not just about the glamour of the health club and the gym, it's actually a, a genuine health and wellbeing uh, assessment. Exactly. Like we mentioned earlier on, um, we're looking at health, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's why a piece of equipment like this is fundamental uh, as much as other technology that we actually use in our clubs and that our coaches are qualified in you know educating people on um, because you can't have someone there with you all the time mm. um, and actually technology can step in and, and help in those instances um, and again this is just one of the things that's involved in a lot of our programs um, that is available now to all members um, free of charge uh, they can come and use this and understand w alongside a coach uh, where they are and where okay. they're starting from. So you're going to set this up, by the way, when you're setting up, you have to mask up, don't you? Because that's how it works at Valentine's, the it, instructors exactly. mask up. So if, if we're going to break the two metre um, social distancing uh, rule here, I'm going to mask up and get this all set up for you. And while you're doing that, I've got to take my shoes and socks off uh, because you've got to use the soles of my feet to generate the information, uh, my bare feet. So by that's the way... Right. Okay, what's next, Ollie? Okay, so you've just heard that beep. Yep. Uh, I just need you now to step onto that device there, Graham. Metal plate. Measuring your weight. And we're going to have a, grab the or move. a lovely voiceover oh. to, to coach you through this. Now, I, I was 11 stone 9. Weight measurement is completed. Oh my goodness, it's in kilograms. Input your height using the keypad. Oh, hang on. Press press it's saying centimetres, I'm five foot six. So that's old money, we, we, we want new money, it's about one, six, eight. One, six, eight, enter. Place your heels on the rear sole electrode. So just make sure, Graham, that you are with your Grab heels on those back plates, there that's we are. it. Grab the handles. Place your thumbs on the oval electrodes. Here we go. Just straighten your arms Keep for your me. Arms straight. Your arms must not touch the sides of your body. Now we wait. Hmm. Very revealing telling Very people your weight. So this, this information obviously all is just private within this relationship. Yeah. So it's not shared anywhere or anything like that. Yeah. Um, it's just for your benefit and the coach to be able to help you effectively. Yeah, well, you've got to have a starting point for any, uh, any exercise That's regime, right. don't you? So you're, you're all done there, Graham. You can step back off there and put your shoes and socks back on. We'll, we'll leave them to one side for a moment. Right, okay, I'm waiting for, waiting for the results. It's always stressful waiting for results, isn't it? Let's see, how is. bad is it? Come on. So we've got your, your hard data there, okay? Um, but we actually, we want to see them displayed 
in a different format. So if you don't mind revealing your age once uh, well, more. I'm coming up to 57, so 57. Okay. Neil. And that's going to basically display that information on a relative scale. Okay, okay. and you'll see on there some details and some lines. For you do categories. know my wife is going to be watching this video. It's terribly embarrassing. But <laughs> no, no, get it on the camera then. Let's see what we can see. Yeah, so, so what we're looking at now is, is a way to just break down a lot of complex information here into normal ranges based mm -hmm. on your BMI, okay? So you'll see that you're falling just above normal in the amount of weight, weight. okay? So your overall mass. And then we've got uh, your muscle mass, which is actually just above normal. So actually, Graham, all okay. the training you have been doing over the years. It hasn't gone away yet. It hasn't gone away yet. Okay, so that's very good. And also we've got um, oh, hang on. a revelation there that you're quite a bit over on your oh, percent body fat. Dear. Well, okay. I said you said it's home cooking. It's Christmas not gone. Yeah. Uh, uh, Marks and Spencer's biscuits. We, we basically translate that. And, and maybe you can see this um, on the camera there, but... It, if you drew a dot and then joined them up from each of the uh, points here, you would probably see like a C shape. Yeah. Okay. And we work off the basis of breaking that information down into three shapes, C, I, and D. Okay. Um, and then our coaches can basically explain to you how we can change those shapes and make you a, a healthier body composition. And that's where we tie in all of our fantastic equipment and facilities um, and, and programs um, alongside classes and, and whatnot that can help you change those lines and bring mm. them in line to a, a, a different shape that's more suitable for... And you're going to be telling me to burn some of the calories or, or not eat so much, <laughs> aren't you? Well, of course, th there's elements, uh, including nutrition and, and personal programming mm. that are going to come into play there. But that's where you sit down with your coach who's, who's there to look after you, mm. okay, um, over your whole relationship with us. Um, and make sure that you get to the right place and achieve your goals. That's very important, and that's all we're looking to do. You know, Ollie, the great thing is I have uh, exercise equipment at home, and I, lo I know lots of members do, and my wife uses it occasionally. Mm -hmm. I'm, I, I'm working from home, busy, and I don't use it, because actually coming into a health club and meeting other people who are in the same position, talking to experts, there's a sort of coming together and there's a sort of enjoy, enjoyment factor. It's, it's your private special time, isn't it? Of course, and, and I think everything you've just said there is testament to how doing that can, can really bolster your overall well-being and particularly your, 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 maybe your psychological well-being as well as your physical well-being. Um, so those things we certainly do have and can promote within our, our facilities. Um, so you know, we just urge people to come and have a conversation with a coach and, and let us support you. I feel relatively well adjusted in this lockdown, but I have had frustrations. Uh, but I know a lot of people, uh, including members of my own family, who have turned to exercise to feel better. Mm -hmm. uh, my wife has used the Les Mills exercise classes on our big screen in, yeah. on, a, on, a, on a static cycle. Um, but mental well-being, mental health, has been the thing that I've noticed among people I know more than anything. How do you feel exercise can alleviate mental health problems? I think exercise um, can have a, a biological impact on feeling better. Okay, so we release endorphins when we do activity, physical activity. Um, so you can't uh, avoid that when you actually participate in exercise, which is great. But also you can implement some structure into your life um, and, and a little bit of routine. And that goes a long way for people when they when they are looking forward to something um, and know something's there rather than during lockdown it's been quite easy to get lost with you know um, no sort of structures in place for time to be moving towards um, exercise can fill that gap quite nicely um, and the community aspect you know getting involved in doing something that you can share with your friends and family um, is huge for someone's psychological well-being well, in advance of our Facebook video, members on Facebook contacted us and sent us some questions. And Ollie, you're the right man to answer them because you, so, yeah. you've devised a lot of the programmes that are there around the country at health clubs. So the first one was about group classes, group exercise classes. And it was from Caroline at Ingleby Barwick, which is in the north of England. Uh, will I be able to go straight to group exercise classes and get stuck in? And will the numbers be limited when I do? 
So group exercise classes won't be immediately available when uh, we reopen on the 12th of April. Um, what you will be able to do is, because we have these wonderful big spaces and studios that we've talked about, um, what we can do is have six individual booking slots um, for virtual offerings, okay? So you could find yourself booked into one of those um, in that environment and basically have the next best thing. And that's because we can offer that with the facilities that we've got. And then we'll just have to be patient, wait for the government guidance that allows us to then um, move into allowing group exercise um, probably around the, the, the 17th of May marker that's been uh, And I suppose the latest will be June. So it's an eight week to 10 week period, I suppose, yeah, where yeah. No, no, no groups. Okay, that's fine. Uh, the next one was, who do I talk to if I'm nervous about training again after weeks on the sofa? I suppose some people are nervous. Yeah. I mean, when my office resumed uh, last year and people coming back into the office, people are nervous about coming back into the office. Yeah, I think, um, you know, from, from our point of view, and, and I've urged it a few times throughout this, uh, which is, you know, we have qualified health professionals waiting to, to hear from you, waiting to help you and nurture you through whatever it is you, you want to do in terms of your health and fitness, whether that's come back and, and start straight away or just have a conversation around what would be the best way to do that. Um, that is available for you. Thanks, Joe, for that question. And I know people are genuinely going out of their way to be friendly and accommodating uh, among your staff. They're a really great group of yeah, people. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the next question's from Mike. Uh, will saunas and spa pools be open? Um, so again, uh, those will fall into the same category as the Group X and the guidance that we receive on that. Um, so we'll have to wait a little bit longer for those facilities. I'm itching myself to get back into the steam room. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's my favourite sort of downtime and, and post-exercise activity. So just a little bit longer and, and we'll have those things available. Um, of course, those are, tend to be near the pools, but what about the pools? Because I understand the pools are open. Yeah, the pools will be open um, and we won't have uh, a rigid capacity um, or booking system in, in place when we reopen. We have used one previously that was very successful, um, but actually we felt like it wasn't necessary. Um, so the capacities you know, weren't pushed um, as we might have anticipated, but the benefit to that is if we get into a position where they might be, we have a system ready and waiting to go that can be employed um, as and when we might need it. Sandra in the northwest asked about that. I'm sure she wants to get back in the pool. Um, then we've got um, a, a question about the in-body assessment. I think we've probably answered it, but Zoe has asked, can we have an in-body assessment on return? Is, if, if she's going straight into the health club, I presume she'll have to book this. Yeah, so um, it is available to everyone um, immediately, if you're a member. Um, and, and what I would say is, is you can absolutely try and get that appointment booked ASAP. Um, there will be people to be able to help you actually use that on the gym floor too. Mm. Um, but it's, it, the thing I wanna stress the most is that it's all about having a coach support you with the information, okay? These are technical pieces of equipment that are very accurate and, and it gives you the best possible idea about you know, where you are right now. Um, but the person who's gonna really unlock that for you is your coach. Um, so just come and, and, and have a word with those and they will certainly run you through um, using that. I know lots of our members will be watching us on Facebook, but with the people watching us who are not members who want to join, there's generally quite a, uh, a significant joining fee, but not at the moment. What's the deal on joining? So at the moment you can join um, with a £5 joining fee, um, which is a, a, an incredible offer. Um, you get immediate access to our big archive of on-demand digital content through our app, which mm. is all very easy to use. So you can get involved in, in fitness with us straight away um, for that which is very exciting. And then obviously that'll move in to uh, membership, hopefully when we are back up and running. So your membership is five pounds to join and then the regular fee month to month when the clubs are actually sure, open. Yeah. Well, that's fantastic. Thanks for talking uh, us through it and for letting me see where the damage has been done. We'll end on a short video about how Bannatine health clubs are contributing to the nation's well-being. Bannatine your home for wellness. 2020 is a year we won't forget. We've tried to adapt to a lifestyle with so many boundaries. When what we provide is a social culture for well-being. We all tried to keep fit in completely new circumstances. 
At Bannantyne, we provide the best equipment in the perfect environment. 2020 saw us become inventors and trying new things to keep fit. We can provide you with access to the latest state-of-the-art equipment. We were all restricted to just online workouts. When what we do is provide the very best in group exercise. However, there aren't really any alternatives for some things. At Bannantyne, we offer luxurious wet side facilities. There was no other choice but DIY eyebrows and pampering. But in our spas, we've got professionals on hand for all your pampering needs. Most of all, 2020 made us appreciate our second home, the place that can cover all your wellness needs. Bannantyne, your home for wellness.